Cowboys. Aldrich Rosas, the Giants kicker, ready to go. And here we go from MetLife Stadium. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. with a catch and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there the completion good for three and it's second down Prescott now on second down his throw incomplete Amari Cooper the intended target and it's third down it's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Prescott on first down. Austin's got it left side. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. A second down throw for Prescott. And he whips that one incomplete there. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And that takes us from second to third down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. On third down, it's Prescott. Flush to his right. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. Flushed out right. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to hit Jameis Olawale. That'll bring up second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. A second down throw for Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Completes it right side to Cooper. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Check 
They'll throw again. Prescott eluding the pressure right. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jameis Olawali, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. A toss running left. That's Jackson. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 41 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. On second down, here's Barkley. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. We got three. We got three. Left. 288. Ready, ready, ready. Wait, wait. They'll run for it with Barkley. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, 25 yards to the house. And the Giants are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Rosas good with the extra point. And this is now a one-point game. Rosas now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Wide open, Amari Cooper. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Prescott from the gun. To the right side, he's got Cooper, it's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And now with the play clock winding down, Jason Garrett opts to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second down, Prescott, flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And again, it's Prescott, flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. Now whistles here. We're going to get a timeout taken by the offense as they'll use their second one of this first half and make sure they've got the play call right. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. A toss running left. It's Jackson, and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Manning now on first down, looking deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Chidabe Awuzie there to make the play in coverage. 
It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 15 and a first. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now. Yeah, yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense will give him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After the incomplete zebra, zebra, zebra. pass here now is second and ten. Hey, gun, 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 gun. Check, check, check. To throw again. Manning to Barkley on the check down. He got 29 yards that time. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it zebra, out to zebra, your runner. Zebra. Get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing now is Manning. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Manning going to throw. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Officially a minute 54 to go in this first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this timeout. On the run, this is Jackson. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Play fake, Prescott. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. B.J. Goodson in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. So now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jumped too quickly. And the penalty, that helps a little, but they'll still have to navigate a third and nine now. Prescott. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He's got a man complete. The 30. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs.
So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Now a toss coming right side. That's Jackson. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to zebra, figure zebra, zebra. if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. That was Jackson. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Brandon looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Prescott from the gun on third. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Now Prescott. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Olivier Vernon. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. Zebra, zebra. Zebra, zebra. So after the INT, it's Manning. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And that'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Zebra, zebra. 
One final try now for Manning. And his throw's going to be incomplete. We have hit halftime still. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They go play action here on first down. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Manning the throw on second down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. Touchdown, Giants! 57 yards. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. First down, Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott on first down, looking deep in the direction of Cooper, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon, and the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first.
So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And make him four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now out come the Giants. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Tyrone Crawford. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Zebra, zebra. Now a play fake. Manning will let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Odell Beckham, 82 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here. Anything to seize that momentum back. Prescott looks to throw on first. Austin's got it left side. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. One second down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. And on fourth and one as a running back, you're looking for any seam you can find. This is not where you want to be a hero and break off a big one. You just need to make sure you get that yard. And here he picks up the first down with a couple of yards to spare. They'll run it with Jackson. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Tackle made that time by B.J. Hill. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll try to throw down. Prescott. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time is run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth.
They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Here we go, 46. Here we go, here we go. Four and eight. Here's Prescott. He finds his man. It's Austin. 20. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tavon Austin, 69 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Now a toss coming right side. That's Jackson. And make him four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing on first down is Manning. He's going to wind up and air it out. And got his man complete. Pass the 20, 10, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard, 74 yards. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Rosas now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. First and 10, Prescott. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Olivier Vernon in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. A second down throw for Prescott. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four yard line. Ogletree in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott to throw it. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 47. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of 
I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. So first and 10 now from the 30. Manning now on first down. This throw right caught right around the six. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Manning now on third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Rosas puts this one through. And that lead is back down to nine now. So that gets them a little closer, but clearly field goals are not going to be enough to win this game, at least not this deep into it. Yeah, agreed if this were the second quarter. But since we're in the fourth, still two scores down, the question would be, did the field goal do much for you? But we have to admit, from the time we've been calling these games, how fast we've seen teams play, yeah. There's still a possibility, right? Madden moves in a hurry. Yes, it does. And now here come the Cowboys. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Second down, Prescott again, escaping the pressure right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. He'll let it fly for Austin. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 35. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. On play action, it's Manning. He sets to fire deep. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Zebra, 
zebra, zebra. Watch twist, watch twist. Okay, hey. To throw is Manning. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Manning to throw. He finds Coleman. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the play. And the Giants' all-time leader in passing yards and completions and touchdowns. Just another connection. No doubt about it. That's the Eli Manning we know. Pushing the ball downfield and with proficiency. Open man right side is Ingram. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. First zebra, down zebra, now, zebra. but that clock rolling. Now Manning. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Anthony Brown, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Prescott here to throw. He'll let it fly for Austin. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play here for the Cowboys. 42 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Prescott. He'll let it fly for Austin. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And that's when he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Here we go, 46, 46. 26. Now Prescott. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards on the play. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Three down, three down. 26. Prescott to throw. Throw right set, complete to Williams. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and eight. Here's Prescott, polluting the pressure right. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off inside the 10, and he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. So after the INT, it's Manning. 
And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Chidabe Awuzie there to make the play in coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.